Hello everyone, it's June and every gamer knows what this time is. It's time for E3 and this is the first video in a series where I give you a quick summary of every press conference in E3 2016. Electronic Arts kicked off their show with Titanfall 2, where the CEO of Response Studio, Vince Zampilla, announced that Titanfall 2 is going to be coming to the PlayStation 4, and he promised that the game is going to deliver a more robust immersive experience. And he also announced an offline single-player mode for Titanfall 2, and they showed a demo for the multiplayer mode and the trailer for the single-player mode. Titanfall 2 is going to be released in October 28th on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. Next, the chief competition officer at Electronic Arts, Peter Moore, announced the NFL 17 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, one of the biggest esports hits of all time. They announced that Electronic Arts is embracing a new approach to competitive gaming to open the doors for all gamers, not only the pro gamers, to compete on the bigger fields. With three new ways to compete, the Challenger event, the Premier event and the Electronic Arts major event. And they noted that it's all going to be starting this weekend with EI major events in Los Angeles, which is Madden NFL 16 Championship, which started with 1 million players, now there is 8 left. The finals are going to be streamed on Twitch and YouTube. He also announced Madden NFL 17 Championship Series, which is going to have a prize of 1 million dollars. And they said they're going to be announcing more news about the events in the near future. The general manager of BioWare, Aaron Flane, announced Mass Effect Andromeda, promising a bigger and a larger Mass Effect than ever. And it's all powered by the Frostbite game engine. And this really seems promising. They showed the trailer of the game, and it seems that it's going to be launched and released in March 2017. Next, they announced that there will be a large number of game updates and free trials and EA access for Xbox gamers and Origin access for PC gamers with more than 20 games and they are all free to play all week long. They announced a new program which is Play to Give where they mixed gaming with charity. For more information, you can check their website. It won't be EA press conference without FIFA. So, they announced FIFA 2017 The Journey and in it you're going to be living your Premier League story through the story of the football player Alex Hunter and the Premier League managers are in the game also you can already pre-order FIFA 2017 the EVP of Electronic Arts Studio Patrick Sutherland introduced EI Originals a program where they try to find new upcoming game developers with original creative projects and bring them to the world and all the profits goes to the game developers to keep them going they have already presented the game within this project the world of Fee, coming from a small studio from Sweden. And this is really a video game that looks very promising. Jade Raymond, the general manager from Motive Studio, announced that in 2017 there will be a new installment of Star Wars Battlefield, led by DICE and in collaboration with Motive, which will be including content from the new films and integrates feedback from the players themselves. Also in 2018 there will be a new action-adventure game from Visceral Games, an original narrative in the Star Wars universe with new characters. And she offered some information about Project by Respawn Entertainment Studio and she said that they are exploring in a different Star Wars era in their third person shooter game. And finally the video game that everyone was waiting for, Battlefield 1. They showed the second trailer which is breathtakingly amazing. There was some gameplay demonstration for the people present at the E3. Battlefield 1 is going to be having some epic battles with up to 64 players and the DICE studio had made good use of the power of the Frostbite game engine to create the most immersive and dynamic war game ever from distraction which is so natural and intuitive and dynamic weather that will affect your gaming experience and a large range of weapons and vehicles, even ships and zeppelins. The general manager of DICE Studios, Patrick Bake, promised that no two battles are going to be the same. Battlefield 1 is going to be released on October 21st worldwide, but for Battlefield Insiders they will get an early access to the open beta version this summer. That was all from the press that was all from Electronic Arts press conference from the E3 2016. Tune in to a summary of all other press conferences from E3 2016. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this press conference. That's all for now. Like, share, comment and subscribe and tune in for more videos.